Nicole Elliott. I'm so excited about right now, this moment you are here, you are plugging in and um, you are wanting to focus, which is amazing. So I have decided to start off this entire Studio Elliott Focus adventure with the, the five steps of success that changed my life. Um, really without this for me, I was, uh, you know, I had a life that I, I did set goals and I set plans to get there, but, but it was just kind of like they come and go and then sometimes I would and sometimes I wouldn't and just a little more aimless and um, I really believe that, that we need to live intentional lives. We need to set goals for ourselves, set plans to get there. Um, so about a year and a half ago, one of my mentors, Mira Ko, um, sat down with us, we, had, we all had a conference call together and she took us through these five stages of success uh, that her mentor, Lance Wall now, had taken her through. So, um, and it changed me, it changed me. I really unpacked and processed through these five stages and thought, where am I within these five stages? Where do I want to be after these five stages and just what are the intentional steps I'm taking in my life? And so um, I just want to take you guys through the same steps that were so impacting for me. Um, here we go. If you have a pen and paper, actually, I suggest you guys write this stuff down um, or just rewatch it and then write it down. But uh, I am a visual learner and that's how I will teach. I'm a visual teacher too. So for all of you creatives out there that cannot read a manual to save your life and need someone to actually show them, I am your girl. Okay, so step one is your dream stage. Dream. Okay, when we dream, when we're in this stage of our journey, we're super excited. We're so excited about this concept that we have, this idea, this product, whatever it is that you're, I mean, and this doesn't even apply to necessarily just business entrepreneur. This just applies to any part of your life, whether it's the next career move or, um, you know, schooling, you know, all those things. So I just kind of want you to think about it more of in a broad sense, but first stage is dream. Um, you, in this stage, you are, unconsciously incompetent okay you're unconsciously incompetent you don't really realize the effort that it's going to take to actually see this dream through you are just on cloud nine living in this dream excited about what's next but don't really know what is next okay after a dream phase we dip down into distress. Okay, distress. I hope I'm spelling that right. I think I am. Okay, distress is now where we have now decided to pursue this thing that we are, that is our dream, and we're realizing the amount of effort this thing is going to take. So it takes us down into a place where we are consciously incompetent. So we realize our own inadequacies, we're realizing the amount of effort and work this is going to take. This is also called the dip, okay? Uh, there's a really great book out there by Seth Godin, it's called The Dip. It's really like a little pamphlet, it's really a short read, but it's really awesome. It talks you through the psychology of the dip and how you get through it. Now, if you do end up getting to this distress phase and realizing the amount of work it takes and getting yourself now out of it. Oops. Oh man. There we go. My mark isn't going to work as well for me. Okay. Then you get into the development phase. I hope you can see that. Okay, so now you're in the development phase, okay? So this is you kind of getting out of your dip here, um, and you are now, uh, what is it? Now you are consciously competent. 
So you have now understood what it takes to get through your goals. You have understood what you need in order to develop this project or develop this concept that you're thinking about. Um, you're getting up and out of the hardest part. It's still challenging for you in this phase, but you're developing it and you're moving into it, okay? After the development, we go back now into demonstration. Okay, so now you're back at the same place you were with your dream. All right, so at your dream, you're stoked, you're excited, you've got this great product and it's just gonna be amazing. Or this great concept, the thing that you wanna do, it's gonna be awesome. You dip down, this is the dip. You dip down into distress because you're like, oh man, okay, now I'm consciously aware of the thing that I, um, of all the work that it's going to take to get through this. If you get through this, now back up and say, in this distress phase is where most people quit. This is the point where people say, oh, nope, it's just too much for me. And they quit when they're all the way down here. And then they go back to the dream again and then they get excited about something and go into the stress and quit again. And so there's a lot of people that just stay in this two-step cycle over and over and over again. At some point, it comes to a point in your life where you have to say, I am going to just hustle and work. And even though it's hard, even though I'm coming up against so much resistance, I have to see this through in my life. That is the point where you get on your knees and you get before God and you say, Lord, I need your help because I know that I cannot do this without you. Okay, that's that point where you are just like crying out for help from, from your almighty creator. So I think we've all been in this place too. So once you get there and once you get past that, now you're up into the development again. And so now this is where you're moving, you're, you're actually seeing traction in the thing that you want to accomplish. And then you get up into the demonstration where now it's at the same level as your dream. You are excited, man. Your thing that you are wanting to do actually worked and you're demonstrating that it worked. You're seeing fruit from it. You're seeing accomplishment. You're seeing green flags everywhere that are saying, good job, you made it. Um, so these are four steps. Now here is the thing. This usually is the step that people will stay at for a large chunk of their life. They'll just say, I'm going to stay at the demonstration phase. This is working. It's moving. It's great. But you're forgetting the final step, which is termination. Okay. You see that? Okay. So termination. Now, this is the stage that a lot of people don't ever get to. They will stay in their demonstration forever. But not everything was made to continue on forever, for years and years and years forever. There has to come a point where you terminate something. The reason why you need to terminate something, the thing that you created, is to make room to go back to the beginning again, to go back to the dream, to go back into the five stages again. We really, I really believe we weren't ever created to just stay in demonstration of one thing your entire life. We really are such creative, passionate people that have ideas that we can continue to change and move and so when we go through this termination phase, it's actually a really beautiful place to be because in that place, you are supposed to be doing just kind of mindless stuff, stuff where you're like not really putting a lot of energy into anything. You are resting, okay? This would be like your seventh day of just rest where you are now processing through everything you've done but looking ahead to what you want to do. 
digging in deep and saying, what are these new creative passions I have inside of me? Praying, this is the time where you are going to get back on your knees, just like you were in the distress, and you want to pray, and you want to ask the Lord to create new dreams inside of you. Um, this is a place, termination, where I found myself a year ago, where I was like, man, I love where I'm at, and I love what I'm doing, but I really feel like there's something else. And I came to a place where I had to terminate what I was doing. It's like a, a picture it like closing old doors, a door that has really been really great and functioned well for you, but it, it has passed its prime. It's an old door. And it's about closing those old doors and looking ahead to see what new doors will open for you. And, and it's a really great place to be because then you start to get these new dreams and new visions and new desires and it creates new purpose in you. And so what, start, what happens is, here's another visual for you. And I love this visual because it's Miracle, when she was talking to us about it, she says it's like a mountain. It's pretty, it's got um, snow at the top. You're gonna get to the top of this peak and you're just gonna look out and you're gonna see the beauty of everything that's around you. The first time you go through these five stages, it's the biggest part of the mountain at the bottom, okay? It's hard. You're moving around it, you're trudging through man, and you are hiking, and you are sweating, and you are experiencing something you have never done before. Then you go around it again, and it's a little less challenging because you did it already, you know, and you're up a little bit higher, so it's a little bit less to have to go around. Then you go around it again, and it's a little less that time. And then you go around it again and again and again. So one day you're up at the top of this mountain, and that's what we would call retirement. Okay, that's where we would call this time in your life where you are beautifully old and gray, and you have a whole mountaintop that you have created of successful ventures in your life. And it was, and each time you did it, it got easier and easier and easier. Not that it's ever going to be totally easy because, boy, this distress phase, man, that'll kill you. But if you can get through it, if you can get up and over this dip, it is so satisfying. It's so rewarding. And it's something that if we have these steps here in our mind and in our arsenal of just life tools, to go through. It really makes every step that we take so much more intentional, right? I mean, what are we doing if we're just living this life so aimlessly? And just like, oh, just go where the wind blows you. That's not how we were created to live. We have really beautiful feet and hands, and we have to use them purposefully. So that's my five stages of success. I want to hear all about your uh, process and where you're at. And as you just take this and as you really, I encourage you to bring it before God and just say, God, where am I in these steps? I need your help. I need direction. It's really beautiful. God just starts to open your heart and your mind and just reveal to you where you are at and where you need to be. So comment below. Tell me where you're at, where you want to go, how this has impacted you. Um, really process through this because in the next few times that I that we meet together, I am going to take you practically now. How do you do this? How do you focus? So those are three more steps, three focus steps um, that are going to be broken up into three different videos, three different weeks to give you enough time each week to just really process through, get through it, write things down. Um, and just unpack where you are in your life. So that's all I got. I hope it was awesome for you guys. Take care.